Hi, my name is Yvonne Hogevorst. I'm associate trainer of Art to Ride in the Netherlands. And here you can see me with my 14-year-old gelding Wilco, who I owe now for uh, almost four years. And we do Art to Ride, I think, two and a half years now. Maybe three, something like that. And you can see me working hand with him. Um, and later on I will show you, not in this clip, but in another one, uh, some lunging. And in another one I will show you some riding. But this is the working hands. And uh, we did a lot of working hands uh, for the last uh, year. Because Wilco had an, in an injury, a tendon injury, on his right hind leg. And therefore we couldn't ride or we couldn't lunge. So I did only, I could only do working hands with him. So, well, it was beneficial, I can show you that, because his tendon injury is over, he's recovered from that, and, well, we had a lot of practice, <laughs> so to speak, uh, with uh, working hands, so... It's always um, a challenge to get him active. You can see me here that I'm trying to activate him and then he will trot, so... A, uh, a bad trot is better for him, is easier for him than... Um, a good walk but well I don't mind because uh, I will ask him again and eventually he gets there because I want a big stride but not rushing active but not rushing so that's what I'm looking for and I use the working hand for warming up uh, for the riding or for the lunging and um, well I do some exercises I do some leg yield or I will get a little bit of shoulder four is too much bent i think but well it doesn't really matter i think because you have to come into the uh, the outside hand and sometimes i ne i need just a little bit more bending in the neck and well when i get his hind legs to move away from me he will straighten out more and then it will go and you can see we get a better stretch there after uh, I, I activate him and after I uh, put him more the hunt quarters out. I think he's doing just fine here. And he's tracking up and um, his back is, is loose, I think, it's supple. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't want him to stiffen, I want him to loosen his back and move actively forward and in a relaxed way. And I don't restrict him uh, in front, so... When he wants to stretch down all the way, well, he can. So I think that's that was good for that moment. So we'll change reins. And you can see that when he's on the right hand, uh, it's much easier for him on the right hand. It's also with lunging and it's also with riding. Um, um, although he has a natural bend to the other side. <laughs> so... I don't know the theory about that, but I don't care. I just uh, look and feel what I see with my horse and then I try to uh, to fix it and to get the best out of him. So I don't do anything uh, else than that I did on the other hand, but it's uh, it's just much easier for him. To, uh, to stretch all the way down and to loosen up more. As you can see here, he has uh, big strides and um, he is a big horse. He's uh, 1 meter 72, but I am 1 meter 80, so uh, I'm a big girl as well. 
Sometimes when someone else is walking uh, beside him, when I t teach someone uh, on wheel cut working hand, and they, well, they have to run <laughs> because they can't uh, hold uh, the tempo. So I have long legs. Well, so that's more easy for me, and it's easier for Wilco because he don't have to uh, come too much back, if you know what I mean. So I think he's doing a fine job here. He could do a little bit more active here, but well, hmm. you can see the surface is uh, quite wet. It had a lot of rain uh, the day before uh, we uh, made this film. So this was my working hands video.